name is Musa Bala. Sixteen years old. The sickle cell anemia. And he used to have crisis. Now you can see the stomach. He used to have swelling of stomach. Sometimes when he's spending him. The yellowish of the eyes. And the PCD used to come, used to go down at time. And he used to have chest pain and the stomach pain. That is the only challenge. Now we are here to collect the supplements for him. So that it will help him and reduce the crisis for now. Thank you very much. Okay. So, the second of... February the 9th, and here I'm here with a 16 year old boy who has a diagnosis of sickle cell disease. Uh, his mother says that there's been significant improvement, there are fewer crises, less pain, less stomach ache, uh, no joint pains. But I'm still really concerned about his belly because he's got a massive spinal ligament. So I'm feeling his spleen here, and so we're talking about, man, this is about uh, close to 10 inches, I guess. This is about 10, yeah, we're looking at 10, is this 10 inches or maybe 8 inches. Uh, so, uh, and his, his PCB was 17%, so we're starting really, really, really low down in the protein pool. Is he eating well? I, I wouldn't suspect, I would suspect he's not eating very well at all. Yeah. Yes, he eats well, but has pain after eating. Okay. Yeah, point to where you have pain now. Where's your pain now? You have pain here, up here. Okay, that's the that's epigastrum there, that's pain. Uh, where else again? Where's your pain again? When I walk fast, like, I walk from here, I'm going to be pain. Whenever you walk fast, you have a lot of pain here. Okay, where else again? Pain. That's it? Yes. Okay. So, um, so, with the immune support, one in the morning, one in the evening, that's some improvements. Uh, still not satisfactory. I'm really concerned about the spleen. You may have to go see a surgeon about that because that's kind of like sucking up all these red blood cells. But uh, we'll see in about two weeks uh, and hopefully we'll see a better, even more improvement after that time. Thanks.